Creativity is the language of the artist that communicates their vision to the wider public. It's a way to enter the realms of the imagination and to create new things, taking all the opposites that one knows of in the world and bringing them together to create a beautiful object that has some meaning. My inspiration has come through several sources. Music is one of my inspirations, and color is another inspiration. Over the past 15 years, I've been looking at images that have come from the Hubble telescope, and that has been a, a really significant inspiration in my current work. I have been developing the idea of how the energy of the cosmos, when you look out in the world, how all of that energy relates back to us as human beings. And to me, it's through the body. It's the same energy that's in the cosmos as in the body. So it's the macrocosm and the microcosm. So color is very emotive. It has the ability to evoke a response in the viewer. And I've always loved color for that ability. And I use it as complementary. If you have a blue and an orange next together, they oppose each other, but they create excitement. So color is excitement. And red colors, which move forward in space, are very, very exciting and fiery. So they each have their own property of either action or stillness that you can use in the painting to convey what your vision is. Well, the work is process-oriented, and I usually do not try to plan a painting before I make it, particularly in this new series, which I'm calling a flow series. I, in the past, have used ge geometrical patterns and um, images to create work, and I'm using a little bit of that still in the underpainting, but for the overpainting, I'm allowing the paint to be paint and to work with the quality of paint as a liquid medium, and that's a very uh, new and exciting process for me. Uh, in terms of the themes, I'm still thinking of the idea of the Hubble images when the astronaut went out in space and then they turned around and looked at the Earth as a body floating in this vast space of nothingness. And then they realized that that was one of the reasons that they went out there to space was to be able to see the Earth in that fragile position. So to me, the idea of oneness, of looking at something whole and complete, but yet there's elements disparate opposites, everything is contained within that complete image. So that to me is a theme of my work, of the idea of oneness, that we are all related, we, we are all one, we are all on this planet space rocket hurling through space, and we all are citizens of this world. So, so that idea is, is very prevalent in my work. When, when looking out through these images, it's like you have new eyes and you're seeing cosmic forces that um, are very energetic and they're destructive and creative. And the same thing is happening in our bodies is we have those same elements and all of us have that energetic relationship to the cosmos. So in fact, some people have said that we are made of stardust and we're all part of a greater source. So that source is the question and the mystery. What is the source? I think every artist asks themselves that when they step into the realm of creativity. And it's the mystery that's important and the unknown. There's no answers, but we all keep working towards figuring it out in our own 
creative acts. I think that creativity, some people think that it's a gift and some people think that it's work and some people have different ideas, but the way that I feel is it is a process. You show up, you work, and through that action, through that creative action, then new things are, are born. It's like poetry. The act of creativity is expansive and it moves you into a different realm to create new ideas, new parallels of what can be vision. It's a revisualizing the world and communicating the new vision. So a person who is um, looking to go into the creative field or just become creative can begin by looking to other artists in art organizations, in community centers where they teach classes and find um, a material that they are excited about. Part of the process of creativity is keeping an open mind and interest in your imagination to discover. It's discovery and excitement and filling yourself with wonder and awe, becoming like a child. So those things are helped by being around other artists who are doing the same thing, by developing a camaraderie, by sharing information with other people. And I think that the best way to start something like that is through a community organization that, that has the resources in terms of classes or even workshops. One day workshop would be a great way to start and get an intensive feel for what you're trying to do. The idea of the creative process is a play. It's uh, going into the realm of the imagination with a sense of awe and wonder to create something of joy, to recognize the mystery of being a human being on this planet and the connections that we have with everything, nature, other human beings, uh, the cosmos, and to continue to explore that mystery in the act of creating and bringing new information to the surface as in poetry. I, I think that poetry and painting have that in common, that they're expansive and that they bring new information that uh, makes life worth living.